Hello and welcome. My name is Nick from Rushmore Painting and Decorating and today I'm bringing you a product review on behalf of Trade Decorator TV. The product we're looking at today is the silicon plug socket and light switch covers or outlet covers from Silly Boys. These are a relatively new product into the industry and they're designed to help reduce tape uh, wastage on, on plug sockets, whether you're you know, brushing or rolling around plug sockets or spraying as well. Um, using these, you cover the entire plug socket, you protect it fully. Um, from all aspects of painting decorating from the prep to the paint and they're reusable um, and I'm just going to be giving you a run through of my, my thoughts on them, my usage of them, uh, giving you some pros and cons to them over the course of this video. But before we get stuck into the review, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, Trade Decorator TV YouTube channel, hit the notification bell so any future reviews you'll be notified of immediately. Uh, like the video, uh, dislike the video if you don't like it, Comment in the um, comment section below. Give us your feedback on these if you use them, any questions about them and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, let's get stuck into the review. There's a few things I really like about them, quite a few. Um, so I need to keep it quite structured in how I, I go about it. I'm going to try and give them um, each different sections. Um, I think there's about five or six in total. Um, the first thing I really like about them is that they are reusable. So, um, you know, you mask plug socket, light switch, whatever it is with masking tape. Once you finish with that uh, masking tape, it gets rolled up and chucked in the bin. Um, and over a period of a year, two years, three years, four years, whatever it may be, even just on the light switches and plug sockets that you mask up, that is a lot of masking tape that's going into landfill. Because it can't be recycled. Once it's been used, you can't do anything with it other than chuck it away. So there's a lot of wastage. Um, so the fact that you're reducing wastage considerably with these, um, albeit a small amount, um, in comparison to the amount of stuff we use on a job, um, every little helps. Um, so any little bit you can do to help reduce the wastage is a massive bonus, um, and these help do exactly that. Number two is that they are very durable. Um, they're silicon products, so um, they're these are quite thick. You can't really see it on the video; it doesn't really translate. But they're a couple mil thick, um, really durable, really strong. Um, they're not going to rip anytime soon. You can kind of use and abuse them if you want to, but obviously, the more you look after them, the longer they'll last. Uh, being durable means that when you're kind of prepping around plug sockets, if you are the type of decorator that likes to mask up plug sockets, cover plug sockets through um, potential damage um, and things like that, then these will help reduce or prevent damage because if you're sanding around near a plug socket and you've got masking tape, it's going to offer a little bit of protection, but it's not going to offer loads because it's quite thin and it won't take long before the edge of a sander burns through that paper and starts damaging the plug socket itself. So although you've got to be careful around them, um, these will help if there's a slip or something like that or you've got a laborer that's maybe a bit um, heavy handed, these will help protect the plug socket themselves, especially the more expensive chrome finish ones and, and brass finish ones and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, number two is that they're really durable. Um, number three is that they're really easy to fit. Um, I've got a little video I'm just gonna show you now exactly how easy they are to fit and you'll see what I mean. So as you saw there, very simple, simply unplug or unscrew, sorry, the plug socket from the wall. Um, I just generally do it a little bit. I don't take the whole thing off the wall unless I have to because the, maybe the screws are a little bit too short um, and it, once you've eased them off just a little bit, it starts coming away from the wall anyway. But generally I just ease it off a little bit, slip them on and they're there for the entirety of the job until you're finished. They can actually be used with plug socket, uh, plug, sorry, you just simply just peel the, the under layer off here or the bit on, on the bottom up and you can put a plug in or take it off completely, put the plug in and then you can, they're really stretchy. So a plug can be used when these are on, um, which obviously is a bonus because you sometimes need power on a job. So um, yeah, number three is that they're really easy to install. Um, number four is that they're really easy to clean. They are designed to, when they're dry, just break the paint off, which they do do, but when you're doing brush and rolling, they're not going to get caked in paint, so you probably don't even need to wash them sometimes if you're quite careful. Um, 
sometimes I just give it a bit of a wipe with a wet cloth as I'm going around. If I catch it with a roller or a brush or something like that, or there's a, an, an excess, then I just generally wipe it as I go. And for most hand application jobs, you know, brush and rolling, you're not really going to get them caked in paint. So they're not going to need loads and loads of cleaning. But if you're spraying, there's going to be overspray on them. They're going to get caught, you know, a little bit or a lot. Um, they're going to be caked in paint and you wouldn't really want to wipe them when they're wet because there's potential for you to touch a freshly sprayed finish. So giving them um, a chance to dry next day or whatever, pull them off or pull them off when you finish the job. They can stay on there after you've sprayed over them because you're going to want to protect the the walls or whatever um, for a period of time after that anyway, I would imagine. Um, basically when they're dry, pull them off, give them a, a squeeze up like that, break off any any paint, it should all pretty much come off. You'll be left with like a kind of a little bit on there, a little bit of powder, just give them a rinse off with a cloth or something like that, run them under the tap or a shake off and they're ready to go again for the next job. Um, so that was number four. I want to show you this silly boys plug socket cover here this was covering this plug socket when i did the spray plastering yesterday so as you can see it's got a lot of spray plaster on it some of it's already fallen off where i've been taking the plug in and out but just to show you an example of how easy it is to get plaster and paint off of these is that they just look really professional. Um, if you put these onto your plug sockets and your light switches, you're gonna show your customers you really care. And although you're gonna be masking up with masking tape and stuff like that and protecting them, and that shows an element of care and pride in what you do, um, it just looks a bit tatty, a little bit tacky sometimes, just bits of masking tape that get ripped, damaged and, and whatever. It never looks you know, very clean. And also getting masking tape off after you've sprayed as well. That's another factor is when you spray over a plug socket multiple times with a like primer and two top coats or whatever it may be, there's a lot of paint on there getting masking tape off after a period of time, it might be on there for a week or more, is actually quite a fiddly job. Um, and it can sometimes just come off in bits. Even the best masking tape comes off in bits sometimes. So um, that's something to bear in mind. They look really professional, but also the taking off doesn't take any, any time at all. It's literally just grab one corner and just pull and, and it comes straight off. Um, so yeah, they're, they're five things I really, really like about the City Boy plug socket covers. Um, there is kind of one aspect I want to cover, and it's not really a downside, it's just more the cost of the actual City Boy plug socket covers or light switch covers. They cost considerably more than a roll of masking tape, but they are an investment. So you buy them, you buy a couple, depending on what sort of jobs you work on and, and sort of the amount of plug sockets are in a bedroom or, or, or room that you're working in. I know on the more modern houses, like the one I'm in now upstairs, there's like 15 in one room. So there's a lot of plug sockets on some of these newer properties, whereas the older properties generally only have a couple of light switches or a couple of plug sockets and a light switch, so you're not gonna need as many. But I, I generally, I've, I've invested in um, about 15 of them in total. Um, I bought them all myself, paid for them, um, and you know used them and rate them on, on all my jobs. So um, that's something um, to bear in mind is just the cost. A single one, you can buy these individually, the singles for light switches and single plug socket covers. They are 25 pounds. I know it's expensive. And then you've got the doubles, which you can't buy individually. You buy this as a pack of two and they're about 40 pounds. So that's just an idea of the cost. But please bear in mind when you buy these, you pay for them initially, the customer pays back a percentage over a period of time or the customers pay back a percentage over. When you buy masking tape, the customer pays for it. The customer pays for these as well. It's an investment. So once you've bought them, once you bought 10, 20, 30, depending on however many you need, you've got them. These are last years. I mean, they're very, very durable. They're very thick. They're stretchy. You're not gonna, you're not gonna, you know, they're not gonna tear, fall apart in, in a couple of weeks. These will last years. So that's something to bear in mind, okay? Um, especially if you look after them. So the cost of them is an investment. It's not, um, it's not a luxury. You're not buying it because you you just want to. It's something that you're going to use and need on a job, which therefore the customer will pay for in the long run. Um, one thing I will say is a little bit of a. Um, not, it's not a negative, it's just something to bear in mind and it's something that I came across in certain situations where you've got like a light switch that has got very um, thin wiring or you know the light switch itself or the plug socket itself weighs more than the wiring can, can kind of handle if you have to bring the whole plug socket or light switch off the wall because the screws are only short and it won't hold it away from the wall a little bit. Um, they will weigh down the plug socket or light switch quite considerably so sometimes it will kind of pull it down and it will touch the edge of the wall a little bit. Um, so you need to kind of 
bear that in mind. Um, you don't want it obviously touching wet paint. So sometimes you have to kind of wiggle the plug socket up a bit to kind of support itself on, on top of the wiring or something like that if you can, but that's not always a possibility. So that's something to bear in mind is the weight of them is a little bit more or considerably more than just a little strip of masking tape. Um, one thing I will say though is they are um, very good for the plug sockets on the job on mine. I'm not doing anything with plug sockets in this room, but on other rooms I've done, they've got these um, backing plates for the plug sockets. I, I don't know what they're really for. I think it's just to hide the discrepancies in the quality of the plastering, but they're there, a uh, little plastic backing plate, and this holds it all together um, as opposed to having to try and fiddly mask around it and keep it all contained and stuff like that. Because uh, a little while ago, I did other bits and pieces in the house and I had to mask them up by hand before these came out and it was a pain in the ass. So having these has made the masking or covering process of those plug sockets that I have done since I've had these a lot easier. Um, so yeah, great product. Um, I'm going to give these a solid 10 out of 10. I think it's something the decorating industry needs more products like this for whatever jobs can be used. Um, where you reduce the masking tape is a bonus. I see. I, I know I like masking tape. I work with masking tape brands. I, I you know they they have a place, but it's a single use product. So once it's used, it's, it's going in the bin and it's going into landfill. So um, anything we can do to reduce as much of that waste as possible is obviously a good thing. So I'm gonna give them a solid ten out of ten for the Silly Boys plug socket and outlet covers. And if you haven't made the decision on them yet, I hope this video or review clarifies that for you. If you have used them, drop a comment in the bo um, boxes below. Let us know what your thoughts are. Like the video or dislike the video. If you didn't like it, subscribe to the Trade Decorator YouTube channel and hit the notification bell for any future reviews that we do upload. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.